Okay, next what we're going to put back on is the keyboard. We're almost done here. So again, remove the screws from the keys and put the keyboard upside down and move the ribbon cable so that you can fit it back in place. Actually, I did that the wrong way. You can set the keyboard back like this and you just want to get the ribbon cable back in and lock down those two little brown um, ribbon locking tabs. And you want to slide the keyboard back, make sure that these little uh, these four little plastic tabs fit in the correct holes or else your keyboard is going to be sticking up. And you want to reinsert the four. Remember I only have two, but there should be four screws holding down the keyboard. Just reinsert those. Okay, now we can put back on that little hinge cover in the place where your uh, power button, volume controls, wireless controls are. Uh, the way I put it back on is I slide in one corner at a time. So there's two little tabs at this corner. Should slide in easily. Then I take it, sort of bend it up in the middle and slide the other side in. Then I just press down on each side. Sometimes you have to bend the screen back a little far um, in order to get all the little tabs back in. So we're going to bend the screen back a little bit so I can get this little plastic hinge cover in. Okay. And just all even pressure. Making sure everything snaps back in place. You shouldn't see any lumps or any um, inconsistency in it or else you have um, either you have too much slack in your antenna wires or um, you don't have all the tabs locked down in place so just put all even pressure on each side making sure everything's locked down. So next before we put um, the screws in the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to reinsert the optical drive. We're going to do that by turning over the computer. And remember, you kept the optical drive locking screw with the optical drive. So after you reinsert it, just go ahead and put that screw in. And then we're going to put in those little small, short, metallic battery bay screws. It's a lot of those. We're just going to put those in the proper holes and tighten them down. If I can. I really wish they didn't put this many screws in the battery bay. I mean this is just ridiculous and they're so small they're hard to move around. Uh, but don't rush through it or anything or else you end up losing some screws like I did first time I took this thing apart about three years ago so we're gonna whoops so got one screw so we're gonna tighten all those down and don't try to super tighten them just tight enough because um, if you tighten them too far to end up stripping because this is just a, a plastic notebook it doesn't have anything that's metal being screwed into metal so a light little tightening should do it so next what we need to do is reinsert the RAM the hard drive and the wireless card just put in our RAM sticks actually I believe this big one goes at the bottom Just reinsert those quite easily. And where's the wireless card? Here it is. What we're going to do is we're going to put our antenna wires on first. Uh, the black wire is your main antenna. 
the gray wires your auxiliary and it says main and auxiliary right next to these little brass tabs so you shouldn't have a problem with that then we're going to reinsert it just like we did at the RAM uh, this time just make sure you have the antenna wires angled a little bit so that they can slide behind this little piece of plastic make sure everything's locked in place then we're going to reinsert the hard drive again uh, there's two metal tabs at the back just put those in the back here and drop it straight down all even pressure at the connection um, making sure it's in tight then what we're going to do is we're first going to have to put back on the wireless card door because it goes actually under the uh, RAM bay door, the screw for it. Then we're going to put back on the RAM bay door. And the hard drive door. After we do this, we can start putting the rest of the screws in the base of the computer. So, our four long screws, remember go at each four corners. Actually you should have five. I remember I have one that just doesn't come out all the way. I just went ahead and tightened that all the way down. And like I said, these four long screws go at each corner. And make sure you don't put these long screws in any other screw hole except for those locations I showed you or else you will screw through uh, something on the motherboard or some wiring, something like that and end up destroying the computer because these things will reach. So make sure they go in the proper space. Remember that fifth one goes right near your VGA port. Then we want to put in the rest of the little screws or the rest that I actually have, some are missing like I said. Everything should line up. Remember there's one that goes right here right under the latch. It's just a normal screw. And I put one, I believe I left one right back there for support. And we're not going to pop in the battery because we don't want to make sure that the um, AC adapter works. Well, DC adapter, sorry. I know somebody's going to comment about that. Usually not used to uh, videotaping my uh, disassembly. I'm used to usually doing a little fast video montage or not showing it at all. And you can see why, because uh, it's a little difficult to talk, demonstrate, and put everything back together at the same time. But uh, basically what you want to do is power your computer on, make sure it boots properly, and actually my repair work is not done with this computer because I installed Service Pack 3 and the computer refuses to start. I believe it's a foul uh, located in Service Pack 3 that conflicts with the um, ADM processors. This is a ADM based laptop and I just have to go and correct that error. Um, and if you have that same problem probably check back in a couple of days and I should have a solution to that also but at this point uh, you should be able to use your computer should be able to charge up your battery and everything and like I said watch out for service pack 3 if you have an HP laptop running Windows XP